What are the mathematics of weight loss? Well, today I'm going to react to this video from TEDx, so stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Hey, this is Lance McGowan with Tropical Smoothie Guy, and a lot of people talk about weight loss, and it's important to know how it actually happens in the body besides burning fat or losing weight. Like, how does it really happen, like, chemically within our body? So, all right, here we go. Right, well, I might Whoa, get myself into that? a position here. <laughs> and uh, on the red carpet. I don't think I need to introduce myself, do I? But this is the last talk for the day. We will have a little bit of wrap up um, after this. Um, and we will have a little, little time to, uh, to reflect and maybe some questions. I know some of you will want to get home, but let's get cracking because we've got about, well, probably 12 minutes is my talk. Maybe it might go for 15. <laughs> so don't panic if that thing goes over. So. Here we go, the mathematics of weight loss. Well, let me start with this. Last year, I went surfing in Fiji, and the uh, resort had a photographer following us around, taking all Whoa. these photos, which was really great, that was fun. except that I couldn't help but notice this. Oh, wow. Somehow, I'd managed to become five kilograms overweight. Couldn't believe my eyes. So I did what they tell you to do. I ate less, and I moved more, and within just three months, I discovered I'd lost six kilograms. So then I did what a normal person does. I did physics, but anyone would do this. I graphed my weight. And when I did the <laughs> linear regression, I discovered that, lo and behold, on average, I'd been losing 85 grams a day, which got me thinking. In fact, it got me very curious about this question that I've since discovered most people have no clue about. In fact, they've never even thought about this. And to prove my point, I made a little video on Bondi Beach, and the question was this. When somebody loses weight, where does it go? What does it become? It's a good question. How does it where get does out it of your body? You're probably dumbstruck right. by the question. These people were, so listen to this. Where does, it go? <laughs> where does the weight go? Where does it go? Where does it go? Uh, where does it go? Um, well, well. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. These are the mysteries of science. <laughs> I have no idea. Depends. Well, I'd like to say into the ether. Yeah. Into the ether. Ether? It gets used up. The universe. Another dimension. It doesn't go anywhere. Which they really don't know. It comes over to me. Becomes nothing. It becomes over. <laughs> That's a very good question. Good question. What a fascinating question. What would you say? It goes right in the crapper, mate. Sweat. Moisture. And sweat. Evaporates. Evaporates. So there are. Ass. <laughs> and uh, his poo. Chains up at Bondi Beach. That's where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, you burn it. That's what it I would have guessed. You burn it as energy? Heat energy. Burnt. In energy. Burn it as energy? Heat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. You got me there. I'm not quite sure. Hmm. So what the heck is going on? <laughs> We're in the middle of an obesity epidemic. Uh, I don't need right. to tell you about it. So why don't these people know the answer to this fundamental question? Because not one of them was right, and we do know the answer. This is not groundbreaking stuff I'm about to tell you. So let me just remind you of a few things you do know. What's the chemical formula for water? H2O. H2. Chemical oh. formula for carbon dioxide, <laughs> you all know it. Right, so you know what human fat is made of. So what is the chemical formula for human fat? There is such a thing, believe it or not. It's been known since the 60s. It's C55H1040. That's the chemical formula for the average fat molecule in a human body. Some of the molecules might have a few wow. more carbon atoms and a few more hydrogens. Some might have less. They all have just... Well, how we lose weight is very interesting. I know that, I think before, I 
didn't really even think about that. It's just like, oh, you lose it or you burn fat, but where does it go is the real question. Like, do we sweat it off? Does it come out through our number two, you know, while we're in the toilet? I think those are probably the guesses I would have probably made. But when he broke it down into basically a formula for human fat, it makes a lot of sense. Basically, as you know, watch the video, he's going to talk about how we basically just breathe out the fat <laughs> in the form of carbon dioxide and the water. So that is basically how we lose fat. And so exercise is going to be a great way for t for us to get our heart rate up and to breathe more. And so we're going to be breathing in the oxygen and we're actually going to be converting all that into the vapor form of fat, really. And just breaking down the molecules, which is really, really cool concept. I mean, basically, but what's really interesting though is like even if you eat healthy, like you don't get the calories, maybe if you're eating like mostly plant-based or all plant-based, your caloric intake is a lot less. So it's not like you're breathing more, but you could still lose weight because you're just burning maybe still. Maybe you're still breathing it out, I guess, just not at the same rate as if you're exercising. So I guess it goes to show that exercising isn't the only way that you can increase heart rate and how much oxygen you're taking in and how much you're exhaling the vapor form of the fat, <laughs> but also eating a plant-based lifestyle or at least eating more nutrient-dense foods with low calories, that'll definitely cut down the caloric intake and up the nutrients, which automatically you'll, you'll start to lose weight over time. And that's a really natural way to do it. But I think if you combine eating right and exercise, just compounding the effects of how you can get to your ideal weight or healthy body weight. And for me, that's what it's all about is how do we develop a lifestyle of wellness and something that's not based off of a diet or a fad. And that is going to be the best long-term solution for our health. And so that is really exciting for us to know the chemistry behind how humans or how human fat is basically burned off and where it goes. But at the end of the day, it still follows the same principles of wellness, eating right, exercise, even getting the proper amount of sleep and rest and managing stress. I mean, all these things are going to affect our weight and our mind and what we eat. So it's important to look at the bigger picture too. And But it's also cool to see how it works from a chemistry level and molecular level at that. What health-related video would you like for me to react to next? Make sure to leave your comments in the section below and then hit the subscribe button so you can watch more videos like this one.